Hello, welcome to an introduction video on item maintenance. Today we're going to go through some of the key basic concepts of item maintenance, searching for products, having a look at the editing of an item, as well as showing some of the key differences between grocery manager and smart retail. We'll go through changing prices, how to replicate things to families. There's also some new features in smart retail to allow you to quickly send a price change to POS and print a label. We'll also touch on price book editing, which is another new feature, and we'll show you how to add a new product. Let's get started. As you can see, I'm already logged in and using Smart Retail, and I'm already in item maintenance. Um, you can get here by just accessing item maintenance from the main menu. The first thing you'll see is all the items. Um, this grid for me has applied a default filter um, and I've modified the default columns to what you normally see and we have discussed this in previous videos so if you're not familiar about the filter and the column chooser I do invite you to to watch those videos first so here you see the list of products you can see that in my case I'm sorting by description I can change that sort order I can choose a different column to sort by um, if I want to search for a product, I can come in here and type in the start of the description if I know it. And then all my products that have coca appear. Again, I can change the sort order to display it the way that I want. From here, if you want to edit a product, you can just double click on it. And you can see it's opening up the product in a separate tab. This tab does allow you to then to go back to the main search and then find a different product and double click it. And you can see it opens up in a separate tab. So now we can switch back and forth between our first product and our second product. So with the product open, this is our item maintenance edit view. Up the top here, you can see the department categorization for this product, it's GST code and it's unit pricing. Um, down the bottom here, we also have the suppliers and the promotions. These sections here can be resized to, to suit your own needs or to show or hide more or less information. As you can see here, I'm showing the suppliers and the promotions by default. Within these two sections, you can display anything about the product. For example, if I wanted to have a look at the windpost settings where the wave flag is, I could open up windpost. Um, the system will remember what you last had open, so just be wary of that. Um, but most commonly, people show the promotions and the suppliers because this is where your pricing is determined. Um, other things to see are the labels tab where you can configure different labels for the product, the barcodes for the product. If there are more than one barcodes, they will be listed here. The GP matrix to show you how the price will be affected by specials and deals, as well as item statistics, how many on average you sell, how sold week to date, last week, and so on, as well as rebates for the product. So let's just switch back to promotions. One big difference between grocery manager and smart retail is that in smart retail, we are multi supplier now. So as you can see here, this product, Coca-Cola 2 litre, is supplied by Metcash, where the vendor is Coca-Cola. The trick with supplier and vendor is the supplier is where you buy it from. So in this case, we are buying from Metcash, um, and the vendor is who makes the product, typically where it's manufactured. Um, so in this case, I've got two suppliers, Metcash, and I can buy direct from Coca-Cola. And here you can see there's a difference between the normal cost and RRP for the product, depending on the supplier. An important point to recognize is that the primary supplier will determine the sell price that will be used. So as you can see here, the normal price for Coca-Cola 2 litre here is $2.99, and that's the price I'll be selling for the POS because that's the primary supplier. If I switch the primary supplier to Coca-Cola, it will flip the normal sell to $8.99, and when I send price changes, the price will go to $8.99. So just be wary of that. So switching back to Coca-Cola, if you want to change the price, we can just come in here 
then change the price to $3.49 and press enter and it will adjust the price. Before we get into more pricing related information, there are tabs up the top which have extra information about the product. We see the alternate price here. These will be the competition prices that you might get from your Metcash host. The sales of the product are here, split up by day, week, month, period, and year. And again, you can resize these and select different periods to show different sales quantities. Purchases, how you've been buying the product. Big point of difference here is that in Smart Retail, you can select a history period and you can actually view all of the invoices that have been processed for that product. Rebates for the item, any stock adjustments that may have been done by user. The history of the product, this is a new tab which shows you the price, how the average cost changes over time. The hierarchy tab to show you any specific ordering and hosting settings that might be relevant to this product. The link tab, which shows you the ton numbers, the carton barcodes for the product and any links that this item might have. For example, for cigarettes, you will have a packet that will be linked to a carton and so on. And any locations that might exist for the product from a perspective of stock taken and labels. We also have a new tab here called properties. These are the properties that you can configure the, for the product. For example, we've got country of origin here and the kangaroo percentage. Um, these used to be maintained separately in a, another product called Shelf Print Manager, but now they're managed directly in the item maintenance properties window. So if you do have any fresh products that have country of origin, you can now specify that directly here. And here you've got the POS image as well where you can browse for a file. There's a couple of options up here. Replicate if you want to replicate the change across family products. Duplicate if there is a new variety of two litre that you want to duplicate this product for. And there's some options here to print a label directly from this window, as well as send this item directly to POS without having to go into sending price changes. But we'll go through that soon. So some common functions that you need to do in for an item, you need to change the price. So the normal cell can be found here. Like I said before, you can just change the price, press enter and it will go green and that will indicate that it's changed. You can also change the cost here, the unit cost or the carton cost. So we can make that $22. And you can see here the target GP will fluctuate. If I wanna change the GP and make that 14.9%, I can and then come back to the normal cell and change that to $3.29 to, to have a nice rounded cell. We do also have X values. So for example, you can change the normal cell or the normal cell excluding GST if you so wish. And that will remember the GST value here. So separate to the normal cell, you can also see there is a promotion tab down the bottom. Here you can see all of the current, past and overlapping and pending promotions for this item from Metcash being the primary supplier. If I change to Coca-Cola, for example, you can see no promotions. But while our primary supplier is configured as Metcash, these promotions are the ones that may affect your pricing and for which you will need talkers for. We separate what is a hosted promotion, a hierarchy promotion, and an install promotion, so you can see where the promotion actually originated. If you want to change the promotion sell price, you can just change that directly here. If you don't want the special to be active anymore and you want to, don't want to pass it on to customers, you can just take the special active flag out as well, and that will remove it from becoming active at the pause. If you want to create a new special, we can just hit the new button. And again, if we just want to specify it being a sell promotion, no deal, we can say today's date. You can also double click in this box and edit the 
dates using the calendar. Or you can use the World Smart Logic and just go five days from today. The next, you enter in the sell price for the promotion. Let's go $2.29. And you can also switch between X and Ink using this toggle as well. Save. And here you can see now there's a promotion here. And it's going to be selling for $2.99. It's highlighted in blue because it's an over, it's a pending promotion that might it won't be starting for a couple of days. If we want to make it start today, we can just change the date to zero to today. Or again, double click to bring up the calendar. And when we hit save, you can see now that that promotion is a current promotion. And you'll notice because it's a current promotion, the current sell type has changed to weekly. And now the sell price will be 229 with a current GP of minus 16.4%. When you're happy with your changes, you can press save. And because this is in a family with other two liter Coke products, we can also clone this new promotion and this new sell price to other products in the family. When that's saved, we can then go options, send to pause. We don't have any electronic shelf label, so we'll untick this and then we'll press yes. And that will send that new $2.29 down to the pause straight away. You can also select to produce a shelf label to rectify or to display this new price. So if you have made a change, so let's just take off the cell active for these so it goes back to normal and we'll save. We won't replicate this time, but now we can go print label. We can print a label straight away or we can flag it for a label. So next time you generate labels automatically, a label will come out or you can go print. How many labels do you want? We can put in say two labels here. We want the normal sell price and we want the BSA label style. Hit save. And now we have our label, our two labels. So here we can then just go print, choose the printer again and hit print. So we can close back out of that while it prints. So importantly to realize anything that's in this gray shaded is read only and you can't modify. Anything that's in this white background is editable. So if you do want to change the carton quantity or the target GP, you can select here. But if you can't select the individual gray ones because these are just information fields. Another way of editing prices is the price book mode. For example, it's very common to want to edit a lot of, say, fruit and veg prices every day based on market value. So we can do that with a new feature called price book editing. So if we go back to our main search window and let's just bring up our fruit and veg products. and we only want to show our active products. You can see here that I've got the normal cell here. What I can do is turn on this price book mode and that shows me a little pencil here. So while I, when I click on the pencil, it's opened up what we call price book edit mode. So any of the filters that we have active here will show up. And you can see here that I'm only showing active products and I can edit the normal cell price here because it's in white. Anything in these gray backgrounds are not editable. So with this view, you can come through and we can just modify the cell price. Press enter and it will ask you to replicate if these products are in a family. 
And you can see that anything that's been edited appears in green. So let's go down to our sundowners and we'll make those $5.99. can scroll through here. We can search while we're in this edit mode. And we can make this 399. And when you remove the search, it goes back to our full list of fruit that's active. If we only wanted to find vegetables, for example, we could come into the category here and type in vegetables. I can scroll through this list. I can sort by my normal GP, for example, to show me my low selling, my low GP products. And I could rectify all of these. I can put in a new target GP. Let's make 15% for this. And then I can modify the sell. If I find I don't want to sell these products anymore, for example, maybe these capsicum bananas are no longer sold, I can also deactivate those products as well. So anything in white, you can modify. It's important to realize once you're in this price pool editing mode, these changes haven't been made effective yet until we hit the save. So if we're happy with all of our changes, we can just hit save. If we want to cancel what we've done, and revert back to the original prices before we made any changes, we can hit the cancel button. So let's hit save. Save all changes, yes. So all those prices now have been modified based on what we edited. So now we can just come back into send price changes to pause. and then press OK, and that will then send down to the registers, giving you a preview of what was actually changed. Other than changing prices, we may want to add a new product. It's very simple. We just come into the new button, and now we can enter the details of our new product. If it's a fruit and veg product which just has a POU number, we can change this barcode type to POU and it will tell us our next available number. So we can now make this our description. Let's call this test item. We can give it a department. Let's go to say fruit and veg fruit and veg and you can also search in these who's our supplier it, normally if it's a fruit and veg or in-store product we just use the store supplier order code is optional is it gst yes or no um, how many a carton if it's a fruit and veg item typically it's one and this is the cost per kilo and then this is the sell per kilo. Again, you can change the GP. Maybe I want to make 45% and let's just make that 19.99. And you do have that X ink toggle as well. And then you hit save. After you create the item, you're back to this main window where you can create new promotions for the product. So let's just do that again. It's 19.99 at normal price at the moment. So let's put it on promotion. Let's say for today, for 10 days, we'll make it $9.99. And now you can see that the promotion is rewards and it's now $9.99. So when I hit save, now I can send to pause.